What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are giving Town Hall 11, a little bit of love in this video, um, a unique Town Hall level, we're going to talk about why in this video, and kind of what the key is to breaking down a base and three-starring it, and then on the other side of the coin, uh, what should you be looking to do defensively to try to uh, make it more difficult to use some of the most popular attacks that are in the meta right now. Um, so as we go through this video, I'm going to be pointing out basically the importance of the Eagle Artillery in terms of defense. And there's three Town Hall levels that have the Eagle, but really it's only Town Hall 11 where the Eagle plays such a big role. It is um, by far the most powerful defense. And if you look at how it is relative to Town Hall 12 or 13, it's still a very important defense, but not as important. Um, so really when you're attacking you're going to want to look to take out the eagle before it activates or um, take it out relatively soon after it activates so any damage it does is is negligible. So um, queen charging at the eagle is a great thing to do. And the thing with that is if you're a base builder at Town Hall 11, a lot of people put the eagle off to one side, uh, like in this base, away from the infernos, the expos, most of the wizard towers. You can see... A lot of those uh, high importance uh, buildings are opposite the eagle, and that's not necessarily the right thing to do. Um, the reason being is if the eagle goes down, even if you have a pretty solid rest of your base in terms of uh, firepower, they can already carve out the pathing, and that's even more important. Um, as long as the eagle is down and the pathing is decent, it doesn't matter if you have both infernos, all four expos like we do here, um, that slammer is going to bully that first inferno as we saw, and the lalo is going to path through too easily. So the problem with putting the eagle offset um, is it can work sometimes, but if someone can do an easy uh, low investment queen charge and take out the eagle, they're getting an extremely important defense, and sometimes they're taking out a lot of your base, not in terms of how much damages uh, the DPS, the valuable defenses, but in terms of just the real estate, the base itself, carving out that pathing uh, for hybrid, for Lalo, um, the most common back-end uh, combinations we see at Town Hall 11. Um, so we're going to fast forward through this first attack here towards the end, and we'll move on and take a look at some other uh, Town Hall 11 action. But um, I, I've been watching some replays over the uh, over the weekend here, and I've really noticed that, yeah, Town Hall 12, uh, Town Hall 13, there's lots of attacks where you're going for the Town Hall... Um, you're doing other stuff besides just uh, trying to get that eagle taken out, and really sometimes that's more important. The uh, the eagle can go down towards the middle or even towards the end of the attack, and it can still work out. Um, it's really just at Town Hall 11, the eagle is, I guess, one level lower than it would be at Town Hall uh, 12, and then two levels lower than it would be at Town Hall 13. But really it's doing similar damage, and not, let's not forget it that has a ton of uh, hit points, uh, which is difficult to get through for balloons, for miners, for whatever's in the middle of your base. Uh, so once again here, this attack, uh, going straight at the eagle, uh, activated it prematurely. So if you think you're going to have the eagle activated, it's a good thing to have your king down somewhere because the eagle will target the king before the queen, it seems like. Um, and that can really save you because if it targets the queen or the healers, you're going to be in some trouble. Uh, right there, the king goes down. Unfortunately, the queen was stuck on some skellies. It's Probably better that she gets targeted instead of the, the healers. You just got to be careful because uh, the damage can get her low very, very quickly. CC comes out. Um, once again, both Infernos, most of the wizard, actually all of the wizard, no, four or five wizard towers. Um, I think you have five wizard towers at Town Hall 11, I want to say. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of spacing on that. But um, you can see there's still a lot up. There's Inferno Towers. There's the Queen. Uh... The important thing, though, is the eagle is down, and the eagle does so much damage to miners. Um, it does a lot of damage to balloons, to hogs. So really, um, even though it's a bit of an awkward kind of entry here with the miners coming a very similar side to the queen, uh, I think the siege barracks is really playing a big role. There's enough DPS uh, in terms of having all those wizards, the P.E.K.K.A. coming out, plus your level, uh, what is that, level 10 hogs, I think. There's all of that coming out um, that we didn't have a couple months ago in Clash before Town Hall 13 came out. So really, um, it's 
it, it's no longer in, uh, if, is, is a matter of how much DPS you have on the back end of your base. Um, it's what are you clearing out, and it's really can you keep the eagle uh, up or can you get it down if you're the attacker, which will really neutralize a lot of the damage that can be done. So anyway, we'll fast forward here. Um, two swag spells, it looks like, uh, crush this base, and really it's um, because of the siege barracks, I would say, uh, plays a big role, allowing your king to do other funneling. It really frees up um, your king on, on these types of uh, minor attacks. Okay, moving along here, uh, 22, same attacker, um, pretty much the same army comp, almost cookie cutter uh, army comp here, and uh, drops down the P.E.K.K.A. on one side, the king on the other, and once again, this is maybe the best example that we're going to have today, guys. If you look at this base, the eagle is put with all this meaningless buildings in its compartment. We have just some very sparse defenses. And you'd think, okay, well, they can come and try to get the eagle from that side. But wow, look at this back end. We have the queen. The warden's pretty uh, powerful defensively. The king is even kind of not in the area of that eagle. Um, all four expos, four wizard towers. But that's not what you... That's not the right way to think about it because, once again, carving out a big chunk of the base in terms of the just area on the base, and actually got pretty lucky there. The, the defender did it. The eagle did not go down. Queen actually engages the Lava Hound just before the eagle runs out of hit points. So uh, that worked out, I guess, for the defender. But anyway, the, uh, the miners are going to come through, and because we have the siege barracks, uh, the king was free to funnel. There's going to be a P.E.K.K.A., a bunch of wizards coming out, those high-level hogs. And it's not going to matter if there's a bunch of defenses on the back end of this base. And it's not going to matter if the queen's not going to be able to help with a lot of this stuff here because she's going to run into some walls. It's At this point in the game, uh, it doesn't matter. There's, there's, there's a lot of damage at Town Hall 11, but not enough compared to the, uh, the offensive power. So anyway, miners come through. Uh, warden with them. You can see these wizards doing a good job at taking out some of those buildings, pushing the uh, the miners through. Then here come these hogs. Uh, hogs are definitely the no-brainer choice because anything else you put in there that's not defense targeting will just kind of stay on the outside and take out this trash. You already have the wizards for that, so hogs kind of come in and join the fight uh, after the siege barracks falls apart. So anyway, um, like I said, plenty, plenty, plenty of... Uh, of troops to push through even that beefy uh, back end of the base and the queen herself is still up. So defensively you have to think um, the offset eagle, you could do it if it's not going to also give up a important location on your base in terms of cutting out pathing for miners or balloons or hogs. So you have to think, okay, I can keep the eagle offset, but I still have to have an awkward, I guess, geometry of the back end of my base. It can't be a nice uh, lane for, for troops to just kind of go through uh, one spell covering them at a time. Let's uh, switch gears, take a look at one of their attacks as we wrap this up. Uh, number 19 here. Nice hit. Um, so yeah, you can put your ego offset, you have to keep that in mind. Or you can put your eagle, and I think this is the better solution, with a bunch of damage. So you're, you're going to try to limit the queen charge into the eagle, force them to do something else. I wanted to show a little variation in this attack. It uses the blimp. Um, this is a, uh, something I made a video on, uh, I think my, most, my video before this, which was talking about using this uh, battle blimp at the lower town hall levels, town hall 12, town hall 11, not just 13 and being able to uh, assassinate the eagle and other important defenses and that's what happens here so um, it's going to be just a very nice easy walk in the park queen charge she's going you know one defense at a time around the outside of the base here doesn't really need to even rage her or anything for the duration of this uh, this little queen walk around the outside uh, once again the uh, the burdens falling on the miners to get through that beefy part of the base doesn't have the benefit of the siege barracks, but um, has the king to kind of clear out that side, and he'll stay up for quite a while. Um, and the miners can be able to push through. So uh, it comes down to protecting your eagle if you're a base builder, and not allowing there to be a nice, easy way to pick it off and create good pathing through the rest of the base. It's a it's a game of pathing, yeah, funneling. It's another way to I guess word it. 
um, that's kind of the most fundamental part of the game, and it, it really holds true on any type of attack. You're going to have to funnel something somewhere, uh, whether it's funneling your queen into the base, funneling miners through the base, uh, or anything else. It's, it's all about funneling. So, uh, bunch of stuff on the back end of the base. Doesn't matter. The miners will get through. Has a uh, really an excess of spells there with those freezes. Go ahead and go times two here. The queen, like I said, just kind of cleans up the rest of this base. Um, I think it, it is more valuable to try to force like a very high risk queen charge at Town Hall 11 uh, ra rather than give them a, a very easy queen charge and hope that the uh, the back end can defend from whatever they're going to use. So I think I I kind of pounded that message home. Hopefully it resonates with you guys and uh, those, those of you Town Hall 11s out there, best of luck base building and uh, look to uh, to use this uh, type of base identification when you're when you're attacking. So that'll do it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.